In part two of this series, we talked about what we eat and what we throw away. Now we're gonna move outside and talk about what we can grow. Research into agriculture emissions shows that gardens can play a role in creating a food system that's more resilient, less wasteful, and better for the climate. At the Bridge Eco Village in Harrisburg, they're working to make their community more sustainable and self-sufficient. We are striving to not just be net zero, but net positive with our water consumption, our energy consumption, um, and even with our waste, right, by bringing in fresh food waste from surrounding restaurants um, and grocery stores and converting that into compost for our garden. If you have a yard, a simple way to compost is to set aside a small area to dump vegetable scraps and yard waste. Over time, it breaks down into rich soil that you can use to grow more food. We have sweet peas, tomatoes, beets, radishes, celery, kale, broccoli. So last year we were able to produce 5,000 pounds of produce and donate that out to the community. Um, and this year we plan on doubling that and we're already on pace to do so. Don't have time or space for a vegetable garden? You can still flex your green thumb with native plants, whether that's in a big yard or a couple of containers on your front stoop or balcony. Jane Alice started the Bower to show people the potential of native plants. What portion of your lawn do you really use? Um, if you have young kids or you have an, a dog, um, you're going to need some lawn for them to play in. But do you really use all of it? And you can just sort of um, trim away at it and take a few feet a, a year uh, out of that. Native flowers and trees like black-eyed Susans and red buds evolved in our area and support native insects, birds, and animals that could be squeezed by the changing climate and habitat. Natives may also have deeper roots than non-natives allowing them to take in and store more carbon from the atmosphere and be resilient to droughts and floods. Once established, native plants don't need as much maintenance, cutting down on synthetic fertilizer and pesticide use and mowing. What they say about native plants is that the first year they sleep, the second year they creep, and the third year they leap. All the plants are able to um, do well on their own without us having to water them or baby them. But if you do keep a lawn and you need a lot of maintenance tools, consider switching them to electric. Burning gas and lawnmowers and other yard equipment is responsible for about 5% of the country's emissions. Did I inspire you to get digging? Let me know and keep watching each week for more personal climate action tips.